What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we're just going to give a quick rundown of the new players, the nominating contract players and guys that I recommend, right? So this is going to get asked a lot, I know, because there is a new nominating contract here today. You also get this little pop-up now, that's what she said, but four-star nominating contract will expire in one day. So it gives you a little notification now when your nominating contracts are going to go out of date, okay? So as you can see there, they are telling me the truth. The 6th of the 10th, which is tomorrow, I'm going to lose that four-star contract. Now, I have nine of them, but you can see the, the, the dates of expiry, right? Um, That is there, okay? So the 60 day of the 11th, which is November the 6th, I'm going to lose two five-stars if I don't use them, right? If you don't use it, you lose it. You ever hear that phrase, right? But we do have a load of new uh, clubs here. I will be live streaming, obviously, um, and opening these. So if you do miss the live stream, you can always go back and watch it. But we do have this nominating contract pack, which is quite interesting. I mean, there's always like one or two players that are really worth getting, depending on what squad you have. Now, for my road to glory, I can already tell that Bellingham, who I already have, but I'm going to upgrade, um, Ansu Fati, and probably the Sassy are probably the four guys that I would really want to get here. Now, we've only got one four-star. I probably will get him just to get rid of that four-star that's going to expire tomorrow. Because otherwise, I'm going to lose it for nothing. So, it's a free player, you know. Um, but Tierney is also a very interesting choice as well, right? Tierney is a very interesting choice for me because of his acceleration. And on my road to glory, he actually could be a bit of a monster for me. Because he's able to play a little bit of ball. He's got good player skills. He's got good passing. He can kind of do it all, especially with the way that I'm going to be playing on my road to glory, that it's going to be a mixture of styles with Harry Kane up front or else Lautaro Martinez. Um, or maybe eventually when Collar comes back from the cold, right? We're having a bit of war at the moment. It's not going good in the relationship, but all will be revealed soon. But Bellingham is definitely a must spin and a must get, in my opinion. Yes, I've had multiple versions of Bellingham. Yes, I don't really get on with him as the player. Um, and this guy is down as a box to box here. Now, there is one issue, right, is that the premium version of Bellingham, right, this one that is in the Worldwide October event, has finally been given true passing and has finally been given a whole player version. Now, I know we've had different versions of him, different play styles. Um, this guy is still aggressive. He's still defensively sound. He's got no levels to go. So he just is at a 96 overall attack and midfielder. He's got a wavering form. He's got double touch, one touch pass, flip flap, soul control. This guy is going to be insane. This guy is going to be the new meta to use because of them stats and he also has interception fighting spirit. But the actual free one that you can get, if you're staying 100% free to play, okay, this nominating contract one is a must spin, lads. I genuinely think he's a really good card. Double touch, flip flap, soul control, first time shot, one touch pass, interception fighting spirit. All the player skills are identical to that premium one that you want to spin for. Um, He's on A rating. He looks cool in game, he's strong, he's physical, he's very fast. Uh, his acceleration is a bit of a low point on this card, but as a box-to-box, -box, you don't need that acceleration as good as the whole player. Like, obviously, the whole player is going to be fully decked out and maxed out, but the thing is, you can try different builds of Bellingham. I still feel I don't have the best version of him unlocked for my road to glory, but I do have multiple versions of him in my normal profile, which you're seeing here, right? We also have the Sassy, who goes to a... 93 overall, very good as well, excellent player skills, nice height, nice weight, nice animation set um, that you're going to have with that, looks the part as well, heading, man marking, interception, area superiority and blocker, doesn't have acrobatic clearance, small bit of a concern and is also not down his unwavering form, but I think for a 5 star he's a must have as well, especially if you're starting off, I definitely recommend him, uh, this guy for a 4 star, He's okay. I mean, if you have a four-star that's going to go out, he's okay. Like, he has got acrobatic finishing, heading first-time shot. Um, he has unwavering form. He's he's fine. I mean, if you are looking for a goal poach and you have a four-star lying around, he's definitely worth a spin. You know, for my case, I'm going to lose that spin, so I might as well get him anyway. Um, the rest of them then as well is you have Chuck Wazy. We know the blister and pace this guy has. Really, really fast. Double touch. Doesn't have one touch pass, but he's going to be more of a winger. And just cut in and score, cut in and pass, cut in and sweat across. He's got good finishing. I definitely recommend him as if you're looking for a bit of pace. Um, Gwind uh, Gwinduzi, this guy here as well, he's got standard form. Fairly nice player skills. I probably don't recommend him. Ansu Fadi is going to be a luxury boy. He's not really that good in the game. Atoma is much better, even standard version. But still, you could play with him on uh, B form with, 90, with 29 levels. Kudos is an interesting one. Whole players have 
not been as good as eFootball 2023, but this guy actually looks quite decent. He does have one touch pass. He doesn't have low lofted, but he has double touch and soul control, and he's got a load of shooting um, skills as well. That inconsistent form on B rating should even out, but next week onwards, he might not be worth it. So if you only have one five star, Bellingham is definitely going to be the pick, unless you have a better version or an equal version of Bellingham. Then I would say probably Chuck Wazy or Disassi, depending on where you need to upgrade your squad. But we will do training builds on all of these players here. Um, no problem whatsoever. I will do my training guides on them. Let me know which players in the comments below you would like to see a training guide on first. And we will do a batch of them. So that is just a really quick video to get it out. And uh, yeah, my recommendations and thumbs up. Bellingham, Chuck Wazy, Disassi, Tierney and Ansu Fati are kind of luxury items if you have a few expiring contracts. And I would say if you have an expiring contract on this guy as well, Kudos actually, he interests me a lot with 30 levels. Because if you pop 10 into, like, let's just say, right, if you pop 12 into his dexterity, you're going to have 92 acceleration, you're going to have 90 balance effectively, right, or 91 balance. You're going to have ball control, uh, or you're going to have attack and awareness that's going to be around 85. Um, and then you're going to have your ball control, dribbling and tight possession. 10 into that is going to give you the mid 80s. Shooting is fine, low passing is fine for this type of card, you just need to boost that up a bit, but you're also going to get the manager boost and the playstyle boost when you actually have a good manager now. So you can potentially get a lot of these stats into the high 80s to low 90s, which is what you want from your attack midfielder. So that is it for me, I will talk to you later lads, don't forget to subscribe, peace.